Mike.com. I host, create, set up, customize WordPress blogs and websites. And today I'm going to share a little WordPress with you. So let's get started. Okay, we've got our WordPress uh, zip file downloaded to our computer and now we need to get it back up on our website. And like I said, I'm building this website, uh, this blog at austinflix.com and you can see if I go to austinflix.com right now it's it's basically just a file directory there's nothing there and what we want to do is we want to install the WordPress software so that we can build a website and blog at austinflix.com in order to get the uh, WordPress files on our server, we have to use an FTP program. I'm using an FTP program called FileZilla. It's free and you can download it at FileZilla dot, uh, excuse me, FileZilla-project.org. You can download and install FileZilla. I've already done that and I have it set up on my computer and we'll be using FileZilla to uh, upload our files. Once you get it installed, this is what it looks like. It's a what's called an FTP program, and uh, I've already set up my host at austinflix.com, the username and my password, and so right now all I need to do is just connect. And so I've connected now to uh, the server at austinflix.com. If you're not familiar with FTP, and uh, you might want to have someone do this for you, and you can email me, and I'd be happy to uh, to give you a quote, or you could visit my website at webbymike.com. That's webbymike.com, all one word. I'm going to open up the public HTML directory, and the public HTML directory uh, is empty. But what I want to do is put my WordPress files in there. On the left hand side of this program, the center bar separates, uh, at least uh, in my mind, it separates the server, which is on the right, and my personal PC, which is on the left. So I'll open up that WordPress 2.9.2 directory or folder, and I'll find my WordPress folder inside. And so when I open that up, I see all the files that I want to upload. Okay, now I can upload this to the root directory so that when I uh, enter the site, austinflix.com, I will immediately be into the WordPress platform. Now, some of you may want to have some separate files, some separate pages outside of the WordPress platform, or outside the blog, and so you might want to put these files in a separate folder. To do that, you would just right-click and create a directory. And you might want to call it blog or WordPress or whatever and then you would open up that new folder and put your WordPress files into that folder but since I'm going to be using WordPress uh, only on my website I have no separate pages I'm just going to put all my files in the public HTML directory so I'm going to go ahead just so I don't forget I'm going to delete that blog directory by right clicking and selecting delete now I'm back to my PC on the left and I'm going to highlight, I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to highlight all the files on the left hand side inside that WordPress directory. And then I'm going to upload all the files to the server. Okay, now you can see that I've uploaded, and I did that just by dragging, the selecting and dragging the files over. Uh, I uploaded all the files in my WordPress folder to the server. And so now I have all the WordPress files on my server, and I'm ready to install WordPress. And that'll be the subject of our next tutorial.